I woke up early to tell you this story, just so you know. But I kind of woke up early, regardless. I want to tell you a story. So in my hometown, uh, in southern Indiana, we had a library. A lot of places have libraries. A lot of towns have libraries. But ours was something special. It was down kind of by the river. There's a lot of towns by the river. You still don't know where I... No, I'm just It doesn't matter. But it, it was a town by the river. The library is not far from the river. It's a very nice area. I say very nice area. It's an okay area. <laughs> um, down by the courthouse. It's really big street. And uh, used to go there a lot with my grandparents and sometimes with my mom and stuff. And I can't remember reading a lot of books, to be honest with you, but went to the library. Got, got origami books, learned how to fold paper a lot, and that was fun. But, uh, yeah, library. It was like two stories tall, and it had a big octopus sculpture like this out in the front, and rah, giant metal octopus sculpture. It was really cool. And there was a kid's section in the library, as there tends to be when you have a big enough library. And that kid's section had very short shelves, um, kind of like this shelf over here. And maybe a little taller than that. Probably a lot taller than that, actually, now that I'm, I'm a little confused now. Anyways. They had short-ish, tall-ish shelves in the kids' section. And, and on the top of those shelves were these cardboard, cut-out, 3D sculptures of different animals, like maybe like an elephant or a giraffe or, or a dragon or whatever. And I remember one time I went to the library with my mom, and she's probably going to be like, you remember this? Yeah, I remember this. I, I was really young, I went to the library, and I saw one of those, and I was like, I, I really want one of those. Those are so cool. And what she said, and the librarian agreed, from what my memory remembers, the librarian agreed to this, that I could have one when I was tall enough to reach it. That's a very dangerous thing to say to a child because A, the child knows they're going to eventually be tall enough to reach it and B, you know that it's complete garbage. You're not gonna, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> You're just trying to postpone something and make the child happy in the moment. The problem is the child remembers. And I remembered, but here's the twist. Around grade school to high school, when I was in grade school to high school, somewhere between that time, um, in like, I guess, 2002-ish, they, uh, they moved the library into the local, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Census Bureau because they were renewing the library. They, they redid the whole, the whole thing, and it took years. It took, like, several years. I think it was in the Census Bureau the whole time I was, I was in high school, um, which was a really weird experience, going there for the library books. But the point is, A, they renewed that library and made it really nice. That place is amazing now. Don't get me wrong. I love that place now. It is one of the prettiest libraries there is. Um, very functional, too. But B... As far as I can tell or remember, I might be making this up, that's probably when they got rid of those cardboard uh, sculptures. 
Now, <clears throat> that means that by the time that I was tall enough to get one, either A, I had forgotten about them, which, yeah, but also no, because I still remember them. So, a little confused there. B, I knew it was all a big lie. Yes. Or C, they had gotten rid of them. Which means that now, not even if I wanted to even try to get one, there is absolutely no way I can. And that's kind of weird, you know? I don't, I don't know how to feel about it. Because it's just one of those things that parents say to get the kid off their back, but at the same time, it's something... I'm 31 years old, and I still remember it, and it's still kind of like, man, I really wanted one of those, and I was told that I could have one. If I, if I had been told that I couldn't ever have one, I think I would have just let it go. But at 31 years old, like... The reason I got up early to tell you this story is because it crept into my mind while I was just laying in bed trying to get back to sleep. Moral of the story, I guess, is just to be uh, really honest with your kids. Because you never know what they'll latch on to and uh, what kind of hopes and dreams you might be instilling in them that's just not... Um, within your capability to uh, help them achieve. Now, that said, if anyone out there knows where to get those cardboard cutout things, let me know because the animals and stuff, sorry, so they probably just threw them in the trash. <laughs> oh, man. But that, can you imagine? That would be a really cool thing to have in a room, just be like, yeah, there's that. There's that cutout from the library from when I was a kid. Anyways, uh, words matter. I'll talk to you later.